All right, here we go. So we've got the 49ers offensive playbook and defensive playbook in this video. And I did remember to actually change my uniforms and stadium. So we're actually in the correct uniforms and stadium here. So um, this series is going to be me playing with essentially every playbook in the game. And really what that means is I'm going to get exposure to a lot of things that I haven't used before. Um, I've used a lot of playbooks in Madden 23, but I certainly haven't used them all. 49ers is one that I haven't used. So this will be a lot of fun to essentially create a game plan on the go for a lot of these. And I think it'll be a good challenge, and especially on defense. Like, not every defensive playbook is going to have a lot of the meta stuff. They will probably have at least one meta formation in each of them, but not in all of them. Now, I know the 49ers have split close. They've got split close pro as well. And we're going to go with split close. And let's just actually keep both of those in there right now. All right, we don't want that play. Let's do something like that. We'll do pivot and I'm gonna come out in half back wheel. All right, so I'm reading cover three or cover one here just off the jump from my opponent. I'm just gonna go to this half back rail play. I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't even know if I'm gonna get this ball off, but we're just gonna snap it, whatever. And I don't think I have anything here. We're gonna try to throw it away. Uh, I like to be on a hash mark when starting the game but just not being on a hash mark really hurt there a little bit. So um, we've got somebody who loves to sit in cover three. We're going to stay in split close. I'm just comfortable with it. And when people like to sit in cover threes, um, there's a couple different things we can do, right? We can attack the sidelines with a flood. We can do something a little bit more over the middle of the field to try to just kind of distract their user a little bit. Uh, a lot of different things. So I'm going to motion this guy out. I'm just going to try to create a flood concept over there. Hopefully I can snap this football. And we're just reading high-low on the right side there. Again, we've got that easy corner route. That streak that we motioned out there just pushed out the deep third, allows, to, allows us to throw it underneath. Uh, nice, and, nice and easy, nice and simple. Uh, what's in this pro formation? That might be kind of interesting to run. So let's come out and inside zone split. Maybe show a run real quick. I don't know if he's inside stuff or not here. Um... Looks like he's got one. We're just going to run a little inside zone split. Why not? We got flash. Pick up some yards. Clock running down. Why not? So that's good. What else do we have in this thing? Um, we've got tight, obviously. I think everybody's seen enough tight this year. We've got strong close. All right, let's run some strong close. Uh, let's get stretch in there. Mesh post. That's a good start. Um, yeah, let's do something like that. Let's go PA deep cross. I'd like to be running this the other way, actually. So let's go to stretch. Let's see if we can get a decent run here. It's a good run. Here we go. Go flash. Good. Nice run. Look at strong close go. All right. So we've got Tebow. And what else do we have here? We've got I form close as well. That's a pretty decent formation. Let's go to the spider mesh play. We've just got kind of a meshing concept to the corner, or a mesh concept along with, I'm gonna actually block the fullback here though. So he is on the defensive line. I, I feel like I should be able to throw this corner out to the tight end here. Oh, he's running man, we're gonna throw it away. And we're gonna get intentional grounding. He fooled me, he ran cover three the entire drive, and then he went to man just one. That was not man, did he man up some people? How did those people get manned up? That was weird. All right, we actually ran into somebody who manned up some people a little bit. Come on, All right, so we've also got Bunch here. It's also just kind of a meta formation, but this is not the meta version of it. All right, let's do something like this. Take the check down if it's there. We're gonna be able to throw over the top of it. It's nice, boom, love it. First and goal. Inside the 10, easy so far. Simple flood concepts, haven't done anything else really. Let's see if we can get fake jet, no thank you. Let's put that stretch alert in there. Can we get Tebow on the move at all? All right, we're in man, so we're gonna run this mesh. And I'm just wondering if it's gonna be a man blitz or not, and if I've gotta get rid of this ball. It is kind of a blitz, we've got B open, we're gonna take it, all right. So, easy drive. Love it. 49ers offense. Makes it look easy going down the field. So, 
He ran cover three every single play until that last one, and we could make that read pre-snap. Just literally had the perfect play call already in the box for it, so uh, made that pretty simple. Now, on defense, I don't know what I'm going to do. I am not familiar with the San Francisco 49ers defense at all. Um, I did look it up just before the game here. I don't know if that's cheating or not, though, by the way. Uh, you guys let me know if, I, if I'm allowed to look up these playbooks before we start the game. Um, but I know they've got nickel over. I know they've got dollar. Uh, I know they've got even 6-1 also. So I can run a lot of the defenses that I'm actually pretty decently comfortable with in this year's game. But I'll probably run nickel over um, just because I don't feel like I should run dollar. I feel like that's just kind of cheating. It's too good. And a lot of these games are just, I, I, in all honesty, just not that serious. So we'll see what we get here. Um, he is coming out in a run-heavy formation. I'm going to back off that left corner. He goes play action. We're just going to take this guy check down. How oh, is he not down? There we go. Good sack to start off the drive there. We didn't even blitz. Just got pressure. So that's nice. What other formations do we have here? Dollar, empty. All right, this looks like a good opportunity for this. So I'm going to put match on. Oops, I had match on. I'm going to keep match on. And we're going to go to quarters. We're going to send the blitz. I'm just going to put a couple people into... I didn't get all my adjustments off there. There we go. All right, Chris Carter. My defensive player, Chris Carter, picks it off, takes it home. 14, well, 13 nothing, maybe 14, depending on if I make the extra point or not. But he's probably out of the game. That is game one. We'll do another one of the 49ers. It's hard to get good games out of this, so that's game one. All right, game two. Hopefully we get a little bit of a better one here. That game one was pretty quick. Um, I am trying out QB Playmaker also on Tim Tebow. I have not used QB Playmaker all year. I've used it in practice mode a couple times, didn't like it at all, so... Uh, probably will not be using it past this, but we'll see. Who knows? I forgot to even I forgot I even had it equipped in the last game, but whatever. Cover four straps. Not familiar with the game tag. Doesn't mean it's not good though. We'll see. And don't forget at the end of this video, I'm gonna rank uh, where I think the 49ers' offense and defensive playbooks kind of fall in the hierarchy of all playbooks in Madden 23. So stay tuned for that as well. Let's go again. We'll start in split close. We'll get our audible set in there. I just like this formation. Um, I think it's got a lot of good things in it. A lot of very off meta things as well. And all right, is the namesake really what he's going to do? Is he going to run cover four? I suppose we'll find out, but uh, I'm gonna force him to play hard flats. That's kind of the goal. Otherwise, we're gonna have this all day. We're going to click on. Ooh, that really reacted to that. That cover four played well. It did. That really, really reacted to that. And I think that was a true cover four. I don't think he was playing match there. So let, we're going to go to this Niners um, halfback rail play. And this is just a play that, for some reason, is just like flood in bunch, where it should get under that outside quarter on the outside. And then we'll do something like this over here too. I don't know if that, I don't know if that wheel route works over there. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. But we should have this X, in a nice little spot against the cover four. Nice easy gain, right? So on this one, I'm noticing he's not sending pressure either. I might go for a one play touchdown here. We'll see. It depends on if he's going to stay in just base cover four or if he's going to start going to match or stuff like that. Um, it'll all depend a little bit here. But so far, he's just showing me that he wants to run cover four every down. And we'll, we'll, we'll make some adjustments to it as we go. Like, it's not going to be the end of the world. Looks like we've just got another cover four here. We'll see if he lets us bomb him. I don't know that we'll have enough time, but we'll certainly try. Oh, we had it, too. We were gone. And he got a last-second block shed. That actually was a cover three, I think. And we had it. We were absolutely out of there. All right, whatever. At least we're going to have a game. That's that's the most important thing here. All right, let's put... Both of there, that's fine. Oh, we got a bunch player. All right, here we go.
There was nothing open there. I think he was throwing a pick to us. All right, he's going to try by flex. Here we go. Trying to throw a match beater. Oh, come on. We got to get that. That's unfortunate that that's not an interception. That was literally right to our defender. But okay. There we go. We got the pick back. All right. He deserved a pick on the last throw. Like, he can't just throw that. That's, that's not a good read. All right. Our ball again. So, cover four player. We had the touchdown. I think he went cover three the last time. Again, if I'm guessing, but I feel like it's more than a more than a guess. It was a pretty educated guess. We'll see. Let's do something like this. Let's see if we can just bother a uh, zone defense here a little bit. There we go, get up the field, and we fumble. What is happening? Oh. It's Madden 23. It is Madden 23. All right, bunch quads, so we're gonna look at something different here. This is typically somebody who likes to, um, I'm gonna actually send the pressure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you deal with the pressure if you're gonna do this. And he dotted it. The pressure did not come in. Maybe I didn't set it up properly. Alright, we gotta defend this. And QB draw, good play call. I wasn't ready for that at all. Well, that's great. We get two turnovers. Completely unlucky. We got a D-line pick, and we got a fumble out of a perfect play call and a perfect read. Just literally a fumble over the middle of the field. So... And we got a stop. He made two terrible reads, and we got an interception off of one of them. But, again, 49ers gameplay, lots of time. We're fine. We're not even worried at this point. He's just going to run cover four behind it pretty much all game. We'll be okay. I am not going to bring this out. In fact, we're going to go on conservative here. Um, I don't want to fumble. Like I think that's like one of the worst things this game has there there are pretty frequent fumbles in it I don't wouldn't say they're too frequent but they they come up a little bit too much I think like just a little bit too often all right I might be getting greedy here but is what it is jeez almost another pick six I'm getting pretty greedy I think that actually was match also and then if we're going to run match, we'll go back to that formation for sure. But if we're going to run match, I definitely want him to have to be worried about being bombed. Actually, it might be in man here. Good dot. Go. Let's go to bunch tight end. Why not? We've got single back bunch tight end. We don't have we don't have the the shotgun version of it, unfortunately. A good read. We'll take that. He's still just sitting in zone, sitting in zone, sitting in zone. We'll keep moving the ball down the field. His pass rush has been getting home. We'll make him pay for it a little bit, though. We got pistol bunch, too. Go back to split. Here we go. Here we go. Good click on. Carter with the catch. We're moving, we're moving. Ooh. Got a read option in here. This is an interesting split. All right, so Tebow maybe, maybe going to get a carry here. We'll see. Nope. And he broke that tackle, or he instant shedded me. 
So we gained two, that's fine. I think that's kind of why you need to um, have uh, a pass game. Like run game is fine, but pass game is very, very important just because they've got inside stuffs and they know what they're doing against the run. It's going to just always be difficult. And he is just going to give me this every time, apparently. Again, the click on. A little bit close, though. Didn't love it. A little bit close. That's okay. What do we have in here again? All right, we got a PA boot flow. That looks nice. Get Tebow out of the pocket a little bit, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know if I love the. I don't know if I love the combo, but we'll see. We're getting out. We're getting out. Throw it. Oh, almost, almost. Ah, I forgot I have Playmaker. I have Playmaker. What am I doing? Could have been using this the whole time. Let's go. Especially with the type of offense he's running, I could be using this the whole time. We're going to look for Jefferson over the middle here. It playmakered the wrong guy. And I got an intentional grounding. How does that not playmaker Jefferson right over the middle? I don't understand. He had to be the closest one to me. Whatever. All right. We got third and long here. Third and 22. I think this is where we probably, again, look for bunch tight end. Maybe audible back to bunch, potentially. Kind of like that he's lurking on the left side of the field here. He might be worried about that running back again. Oh, I had the touchdown, but he got the block shed. Fourth and a mile. Like a mile, mile. I really want to go for it, but we'll settle for three. I think we figured out what offense we're going to use, though. I like under center against him. I think I like just bunch tight end, go bunch a little bit. I don't know if I want to run the ball. I just don't know if I like running the ball, period. But we'll go with split close. I, I love the Jets split close a lot more than I like the 49ers split close. Uh, they, in my opinion, aren't quite in the same ballpark at all. But we can make it work. And I'm not scared of his offense. That's for sure. He threw the two blindest reads that I think we've seen. And if we need to, we can do this. And I'm lagging bad. Okay. Like we can just say, all right. Beat us. And I got stuck on a D lineman. He came in though. He came in. But we're going to make him beat us in this. We'll get the adjustments off. It'll be fine. Ooh, we're gonna go single back. We don't we don't like seeing dollar. Alright. Alright. Oh, try Y again. Here we go. Heat. Go Peterson. Go. Nice, nice, nice. Love it. The defense gets us a stop. Gets us a turnover. 49ers defense showing up. We've got Dollar in there. Definitely adjusting on offense a little bit. I mean, Dollar is easy mode. It really is. Like, it's such a good defense. It's just, it's overpowered in this year's game. And you can just tell he is not comfortable playing against Dollar. So we will force him to play in Dollar. And I don't know, let me guys know in the comments, what do you think is harder, playing against DB Fire or playing against Spinner? I'm not sure. I think um, 
DB Fire is not that difficult to beat against, like, somebody who doesn't adjust out of it at all. But if people start adjusting out of it, it's it's pretty darn good. Like, it it's hard. We'll go something like this. We're still going to send five. We're going to try not to get beat, though, deep. Yeah, we took, we took away his read, for sure. He's looking at... He's looking at the outside streak. Oh, I wasn't there. I was kind of ready for it, too. Dang it. Mine. That's, a, that's an actual linebacker that just picked you off. I don't have enough safeties with abilities on my team right now. Give me the ball. All right, what are some of these going to do? I, I don't know what some of these plays are going to do against this. So we'll stick with what we know a little bit here. Hmm, let's go to Verts. You know, let me have a quick throw. Not really. I don't like anything there. Throw it away. That was verticals of the short side of the field there with kind of a matchy defense. I, th I don't. I, I still don't think he's playing match. I think it's just regular cover four. And we're gonna set up the same route combo that we almost had a touchdown on last time. I want him to have to force or have to follow that running back over there. I might look for the quick throw to be here. I'm gonna look at why. Wide open. We're on conservative now. <laughs> Take this to two minute warning. Call it good. Hit him with that same cross drag play. Uh, we saw that open last time and we just didn't have time to throw it. Um, what else do we have in here? Wing flex close. And deuce close. Do we have a stretch? We do have a stretch. All right. Let's go stretch or to deuce close. He's in like a four three. He's actually protecting against the run. We're going to run it anyway. See how your run D is. Not bad. Oh, well. Actually in a 4-3 defense. Uh, let's go tight end angle. We're not even really using hot route master here. Um, I feel like verticals are just going to be a touchdown. We're just going to have RB, I think. Yep. All right. I think this game is pretty much over too. I don't know though. I could screw this up. I have screwed up far worse than this. 49ers playbook. My my preliminary rating on this. I think the defense is strong because you've got dollar. You've got nickel over. And you really only need dollar and nickel over. Like you can scheme those two together quite well. You've got even six one. I really don't have the personnel right now to run even six one. Um, uh, the, just the way that my team is currently set up with abilities. Anyway, I didn't expect to run even six one in these videos. Um, it doesn't have three three cub, which it'd be nice to have three three cub because it it's a really nice pressure even against a blocked running back defense but you've got taller and you've got nickel over so you're probably pretty good either way I'm one, ready? all right we'll pinch do something like this i don't have any flats on the oh good throw i don't have any flats on the right side there but we're on the same defense here okay no flat on the right i'm gonna try to Oh, I thought he was running a corner there. I went the wrong way. Terrible user. Bunch of quads. We're in quads against this, huh? I don't think you have anything open there. Yep, screaming again. 
mean, you have no shot of picking that up if you send out that tight end. Even if you send, even if you keep the tight end in, I don't think you have any shot of picking that up. I think this is just exactly how we want to run this defense. I'm not going to change a thing on it. Yeah, yeah. All day you can have that on third and 21. That's all you. In fact, we'll call timeout for you. Go for it. On one, ready? All right, I like that vert hook where it is on the right. Harrison Smith. My responsibility is kind of quick seam to the left. And that's a sack. Cool. Is he going to quit out? We're going to have another drive here? We're going to have another drive. All right. Let's stay in single back. Ooh, I wonder if this tight end hook is any good. Oh, I thought it was on the other side of the field. Um, we might be against DB Fire here. Wouldn't be shocked if we are. Just the dime version of DB Fire. So let's see if he sends it. He does. There we go. And a timeout. We just need to be in field goal range. I'm not going to force it. He's out of here. All right. <laughs> he doesn't want to deal with it. There we go. All right. 49ers overall. We'll give a rating here in a second, but preliminary, I think it's pretty good. All right, now for the ranking. Where do I put the 49ers on the tier list? So on the tier list, we have God tier, absolutely the best playbooks in the game. We've got the amazing tier for A. We've got the basic tier for B, just, you know, basic playbook, take it or leave it. I could not think of anything good for C. So we've got the C tier. And I've got the D tier, which is just don't use. There are much better playbooks. There's no reason you should be using this playbook. So where do I put the 49ers? The 49ers, I believe, are somewhere in this area. I, they're definitely not God tier. Uh, even split close, like a unique formation to the 49ers is not, is not even the good version of split close. So I can't put it up there. They have gun tight. We didn't even use it in this video, but... They have gun tight. It's not the best version of gun tight either. Um, so even to call it amazing, I think would be a stretch. So my final verdict on the 49ers playbook is I think it goes here um, because the defense is actually what I'm combining this with. This is an offense and defensive combined ranking. And just by default, that defense has dollar. It has nickel 3-3. Uh, nickel over and it's got even 6-1 so you can have pretty much all the meta defenses that are in the game for the most part so 49ers they're going in the basic tier take them or leave them i don't think they're amazing i don't think that it's a god tier um but it's it's not one of the worst playbooks in the game necessarily either so i think it's pretty good with that hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and until next time